Oh my God. Hi guys. I'm so blessed to be making this video for you today. Like and subscribe. You're also awesome. I think that's a standard YouTube introduction dealt with. So the situation with this machine is um, the control software is part of Matrix, which is a jewellery program, uh, jewellery CAD program, um, and that does all the tool pathing and sorts the offsets and everything out for you. Now that module is being stopped um, after Matrix 9, I do believe, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so you're not going to be able to control this machine unless you're using an old copy of the software, which seems a bit daft, but it's not for me to say. Um, so essentially, I'm going to be changing the control system inside this mill so I can control it off any GCO producing um, software. So Desproto, Rhino Cam, or something similar to that. Um, I think I will be using Desproto. Um, so it's a little bit of a walkthrough regarding how I go about that. Uh, it might be might, might be wrong. If you all had anything, yeah, feel free. That's great. It's all about learning. Yeah. So this is a machine as I bought it. It's had very little use. It's got all the attachments and so forth. Um, so this is. Um, the back of the machine with the back removed and the casing for the control box removed. So we've got um, this part here is the back of the spindle controller. Um, it's got two spindles in it uh, that run off a single box. Uh, we've got an interlocking relay here which controls all the safety features, doors and stuff. I'll probably get rid of that because in all fairness if you can't shut a door you shouldn't be using a melt should you? And you know you might say all oh, the children about and they can put their hands in it but you can't, you can't, you can't make an omelette without breaking eggs so I'll have a think about that. Um, these are all the power supply. I think looking at them they're mostly 110 so we'll have to look and see what's what because we run, run on 240 over here in the UK, mighty Manchester. Um, transformers provide the power, I think it's 28 volts, but I think you can run up to 48. And this is a 5 volt or a 12 volt, I'm not really checked, but I'll be getting rid of all that anyway. Uh, and this control board behind. These black parts, they're the drivers for the different axes, there's four axes on it. And this part here is the motion board which controls these boxes, which control the stepper motors and tells you where to go. Um, Um, yeah, there's a close up on the power supply. Uh, so you've got down here a uh, diode that turns the AC current that comes in through the socket to DC uh, for the transformer. Um, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, again, this is just power supply, but a uh, big trans uh, big capacitor there for smoothing so you get a nice smooth um, electrical flow into the components uh, that's about it for that one uh, there's the interlocking relay uh, like I said I'm not the proper look at that but we'll see we'll see what's 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 the score with that whether we get rid of it or not um, close up on the nice plug it looks like something you'd have in your wall and it's even got a diagram of what's what this is a transformer, I think that is doing the lights. Um, there's three lights in the top of it. Uh, one's for the spindle and one's for the control in the main board, I think. There's some instructions. Yeah, spindle and chassis. Um, I suppose you could plug something else if you've got a bit of hoovering to do. Well, I don't know. Um, this will all go. Um, these are solenoids that control the um, coolant, um, which pump. Um, so I'll probably retain them. I don't know if I will be using um, coolant, but if it's there, we might have a go, might have a play. Um, but what else have we got? Up oh, that way. Uh, ah, yeah, these are the, I've removed most of the bits now. The signal card's gone out of it because um, I won't be using any of that. Um, these are, uh, the motion cards, uh, there's four of them, one for each axis. I'll be retaining all this wiring and the wiring out to them. Um, USB control, but that'll be going. I'm going to use a, uh, a part called the Smooth Stepper, 
and that's controlled over the Ethernet. Well, not over the Ethernet, but it uses Ethernet, Ethernet um, to control. You can't control over the internet. That's what I meant. Well, you might be able to, but I won't fancy it. <laughs> um, what's next? Uh, oh, we've done them, haven't we? Yeah. So that's just a close up on um, power card. There's relay there for controlling various things. I'm not even sure what that does, to be honest. I'll have to follow that and find out. Um, I don't know. Might be. Uh, this looks like you can swap over for switching for the transformer from 110 to 240. I don't know again, but all this is going and this is going somewhat too fast. Uh, this is with the back removed. Um, this is that's the stepper motor there. It's controlling the y axis. Uh, all this was covered in coolant when I stripped it down, so I've cleaned it up a little bit. You can still see in the bottom there, there is some, but uh, I don't know, I'll have to see. Um, but this is made by a German company called I can't pronounce it. I, I, uh, yeah, techno Isle maybe or something like that. They make quite good milling machines so and modules. Uh, and what have we got next? Duk, duk, duk. Uh, there, that's the control board out. Um, start to strip everything down. So I think that's the last picture of this one. So we'll get all this stripped down just to the bare what we need, and then I can start adding parts and and we'll show wiring colours and stuff. So yeah, hopefully it gives you a little bit of an overview of where I'm up to with it. Um, thanks a lot for listening. Okay, bye bye.